I know we're all anticipating what looks like a very fun movie this summer, Barbie. Now, super feminine pink outfits were never really my true aesthetic, but when I saw this little number, I felt something. Of course, we can buy similar pieces online, but I want to try making it myself. So if that's what you're looking for, then you are in the right video. I purchased some Hubba Bubba Pink cotton poly fabric, and I'll be making my pattern by cloning this button up and these shorts. And if you'd like to see another video about how I made this vintage shirt, you can find that here. As usual, I'm poke tracing my pattern onto paper and cutting the pieces out. They're in a pile here because my floor space was occupied by my other personal trash, but this is essentially what I cut out. Then with one tap of my magic scissors, the fabric pieces were also instantly cut out. Kiki stopped by for a quality inspection. And then it was onto the pants. Now I won't guarantee that this is the best way to assemble your trousers, but this is how I'm doing it. So if it pains you, your eyes. I attached the pocket lining to the pant fronts, top stitched them in place, and then attached the pocket back panel. I attached the pant fronts and the pant backs along the crotch seam. Then I attached the fronts and backs along the outside and inside leg seams. And then I top stitched the seams. It was a little tricky on the long leg seams, but you just kind of have to bunch up the fabric as you go and it all comes together. So these are looking cute. I do feel confident that the pants will come together when I attach them to the top but I do think I need to make some changes. I think I, there's someone at the door. It's the UPS guy. Please don't make me sign. <laughs> he left. Oh, uh, where was I? So what I think I'll do is taper the pants a little bit so that they're a little more narrow at the ankle. Hopefully that will give them a little more Barbie vibes and a little less melted princess bubblegum vibes. Let's give it a try. Much better. And this is as far as we'll go with the pants right now. Next is the shirt. I've ironed the seam allowance on the yoke, added pleats to the back panel, and I'm going to top stitch that back seam to attach them. On the fronts, first I need to fold over and top stitch the button panels before top stitching the shoulders to the yoke. Then I'll attach them along the side seams. Next is the sleeves. Somehow I managed to make the sleeves way too big. So I gathered them at the top before attaching. but I don't really like how it looks, so I'm experimenting with adding a little fluffy pleat on the bottom. I think I'm gonna go with it. Next, we'll make the collar. We'll stitch the collar pieces along the sides and top, then trim the corners and flip them right sides out. We'll attach the standing part of the collar by sandwiching over the bottom pieces of the collar, stitching and flipping that right side out. Then we'll attach the inner collar layer to the inside of the shirt, Flip it over, fold over that seam allowance, and top stitch the collar to the outside of the shirt. So I don't love how the collar turned out. It came out really big and floppy. So I think I want to use my sewing machine's scallop edge stitch to make it smaller and more Barbie. To make a scallop edge, I just select the stitch, let the machine do its thing, and then I cut along the stitches to get this cute scalloped border. And that's all we'll do with the shirt for now until after we attach the pants. The shirt already hit right at my waist, so I just pinned where the pants hit my waist as well. Then I pinned the top and pants right side together, matching up those side seams, and attached them. It's looking cute and almost done. I still need to add some buttons to the top, hem the pants, and add some elastic to the waist for a more flattering fit. And with that, the outfit is complete. In the end, I had a bit of extra fabric, so I made a waist strap as well. Bonus points that it covers up that waist seam. And with the remaining fabric, I made this adorable collar for Kiki too.
Overall, I'm really happy with it, even though it ended up being more of a halfway point between Barbie and a hazmat suit. Do you have any favorite costumes from the Barbie movie? What should I make next? Let me know in the comments.